What I want to teach today, this, this coming few weeks, is about Holy Spirit. Everybody say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I want to talk about who this guy is. What is this awesome God who is living with us can do to our perspectives and experience of this world? What would this Holy Spirit is, is responsible for? If you read it, Romans chapter 8, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse, uh, we, I talked about this in, my, in our uh, men's, men's meeting, uh, and I gave all the men to memorize few scriptures. Wives, uh, you are responsible for them to, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, and they're memorizing, I believe they're memorizing. Um, verse 27 and 28, can somebody read? Or 26 to 20, 28. If anybody are in that space, let's read. 26 to 28, yes. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. Uh, for we do not know that we, uh, what we should pray for as we ought, uh, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Mm. Now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is mm. because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Amen. I'll stop here. Let's just one second. I want you to get, I want everybody to read this again. Let's read this again. Verse 26, 27. Let's read it again, sir. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. Yes. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Amen. Searches the hearts, knows what the mind of the Spirit is, uh, because He makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. He makes intercession because He makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. What does this mean? What does this mean? What is God saying between 27 and 28? I was shocked to see Kobe actually. She preached heaven down on that day and in the conference. Uh, I was so proud of her. I was, I, I was ashamed of my own skill of teaching. Like, uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, she, she surprised me. Paul surprised me. Ben surprised me. I was, I was like, uh, I think I should not preach anymore. These guys could do it. Uh, they, 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 these guys are amazing. So I want you to think here, verse 27 and 26. What does this spirit has that... Bible talks about. What does the Spirit has in the scripture that you talked about? What does Spirit has here? The Holy Spirit intercedes for us. What is He interceding for us? The will of God. The will of God. He's interceding the will of God. What does that mean? What does that mean? Means he's not questioning the will of God. He has it. Okay. He has God's heart. I want, I want one sentence. If he's interceding the will of God, so, so what does that spirit has then? Uh, it's not a tricky question, revelation. You just said it. Someone said this. If, inter if, the, if the Holy Spirit is interceding the will of God, that means Holy Spirit has the will of God. Do you get that? If the Holy Spirit interceding the will of God, that means Holy Spirit, which is the will of God, is living in me, trying to allure me to the will of God consistently. So if I understand the Holy Spirit, if I partner with the Holy Spirit, I'm partnering with what? Will of God. So how do I access the Spirit to get to the will of God every single day? <laughs> Holy Spirit, number one, has will of God. <laughs> Holy Spirit has purpose of God. 
Holy Spirit has directions to what is already established in us, already established for us. Now, if Holy Spirit has the will of God, where is the Holy Spirit living? It living, is he living on heaven, living on earth, or where? In or in us? He is living in me, <laughs> giving giving me hints of the will of God that makes me strength that that allows me to live out of strength, not out of weakness. He says weakness. Come on. Right? Our soul is weak. But the spirit is not weak. We're still weak. The weakness in the soul is, is my perception of this world. You, 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 read, you, you read verse 20, 26. Likewise, the spirit also helps. Helps who? Our weakness. Where is this weakness? Is in the spirit? No. It is the soul that's constantly weak. Why is it weak? Why is our soul weak? It is what? It remembers, the remembers the past. What else? Why is the soul weak? What is, what is in the soul? Mind, emotions, and will. Memories, feelings, <laughs> beliefs. Mind, emotions, and will. Memories, feelings. What is this? Beliefs, which is nothing but the will. The will. <laughs> Determination. <laughs> Values. Our dependencies. <laughs> All of that is beliefs that are stuck within the will component. But a feelings <laughs> is the expression of memories, which is our mind. But what is these three things given to us as? These three things are given to us as intelligence. Yes? So I'm doing this still. <laughs> it, this is yes in India. So I'm still in India. I'm still a jet lag, in other words. I make sense. Intelligence is nothing but our experiences in a memory that has caused us through events that happen to us. Meaning, it's a perception of a past. When I talk to my wife, I, when I say I love, I love my wife. My understanding of my love is different, different from what she says, I love you too, in that moment. When she gets hurt, her perception of a hurt is different than my perception of hurt. Even though we think differently, even though we have the same body, but our perception is different. Even though she likes, I like food, she likes food. I like something else than what she likes. Even though I like what I want to go to, our perception is different than even though we are one body, even though I love her, even though I like her, even though I've been with her for 20 years now, next year, it looks like, you know, 200 years, another zero passed in. Even though I know her, she knows me, my likes are different than hers. <laughs> Her experiences are different than mine. My experience is different than hers. My, my perception is different than her perception. God made us so unique. So we, we process everything around perception based on our soul experiences. Okay? I, uh, I'm gonna, this is, this is gonna shock us, all right? This is gonna really shock us. And I wanna shock, I was shocked by understanding this today. When, daddy, when dad spoke about this, I, it was, yeah. I'm trying to, uh, I'll give you, I mean, yes. So, 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 so in other words, for us to get into the spirit, what, what the soul is, 
is not is what not the spirit is even though they live in me even though the soul lives in me it's not the same as what the spirit is why spirit sees things differently than the soul what it sees it sees spirit sees the future <laughs> but the soul sees what i have done yesterday to what you need to be today right spirit sees what it already has done so it can experience every day based on what he has already done to me it's called deja vu i don't know how many of you experience that deja vu yes all have experienced deja vu i i feel like i've been here before i i feel like i've seen this boy before i'm just kidding where's the lady she's not here oh kobe i i mean uh, i've seen this guy i've seen this boy i've seen this person i've seen this money that needs to come to us i've seen this furniture i went to buy yesterday day for yesterday a furniture in uh, one of the stores um uh, i think tj fridays some not tj fridays something tj max yes not tj fridays yeah i went to see it and i uh, and uh, those were the chairs beautiful chairs i love that chairs it's beautiful it's it was beautiful but the only thing that drawback is white it's pure white but it was so beautiful every person who walked by wanted that chair but here i am standing at this me and julie went there and uh, usually i don't stare on things that i don't like but I, when i like i stare you know i stare i stare at these two i was staring at these two chairs julie's like julie left me alone for 15 minutes i stared at them the two things i was trying to figure out it was expensive chairs the reason i was staring at it is is i was trying to think lord did i was i here before to buy this no you didn't hear me i was trying to connect deja vu here no deja vu happened there all right the the point of that uh, the the point of that is what i'm trying to say here is god does deja vu through our spirit what is deja vu for god it is not we being there jesus already been there in my image to hear that see how perception is locked out until now we thought i was there i wasn't there because i am not omniscient i am not omnipresent <laughs> my god is when god can give me om- omnipresent through deja vu come on that deja vu god can give me consistently give me what i want me connecting to him and my connection to him is me seeing in his name in the spirit that means when i see him you see that you, you see where i'm going because i saw myself there i see me not jesus until today no you didn't hear me that who i saw was me <laughs> that who i saw to find me in the day jaw i thought i was already there <laughs> until today god said it was not you dude <laughs> it was me in your image was there that means i was there and you when you are here you're feeling me <laughs> in watching these two chairs you are i am you there i am that not you come on you see where i'm going that means until now i realized it was me oh god took me there that is nothing but there's nothing but the spirit that's trying to connect to jesus what's coming between jesus and me jesus and me is the soul which is constantly trying to attack me with three things are you ready those three things is pride pride of life lust and greed these three things are part of your soul what is that pride pride 
<laughs> These three things is constantly attacking me for me not to experience the deja vu. <laughs> if I'm experiencing deja vu, I should be experiencing the glory that comes without the filter of these three things. God wants to give me deja vu, but what's filtering me is the, these three things constantly manifesting its, its, <laughs> its pride, its, its lust, and its greed <laughs> against what it knows. Come on. All these three things give me two things. Fear, fear, and sad. Bible talks about here, it is, come on, come on. Our spirit is groaning. Our spirit is groaning for it to manifest Jesus. Our spirit is groaning. It's speaking its elements, it's speaking its will, but, but what's stopping it is these three things speaking my past into present so that, are you ready? The body can feel <laughs> the expression of these three things, not taste the deja vu. Have you ever remembered a food and taste your food in your mouth? I do. <laughs> we taste a food, somehow that, that, that saliva opens up in our mouth to understand that sweetness that I would, I would remember and it rem reminds me about the taste in, in, those, goes, in those go by. If, if I only remember the taste and I get to that taste in my mouth, <laughs> that means my body is nothing but an expression of neither soul or the spirit. Got it? So there is a body, there is a soul, there is spirit. What is, in other words, because there is a will of God, which is so different than pride, lust, <laughs> come on, greed. What God wants us to do, to get to the will of God, to every single time get to the will of God. Come on, come on guys. He's given us a secret today. He's given us something that makes us come into alignment where the soul, the soul, would not stop me to get to the will of God, to the body, so the body can experience the deja vu consistently. Amen? What's happening with the will of God, what is happening with the soul, it's constantly, it is fascinating because it's, it, the, the problem with the body is, the body only knows the triggers of your, of your soul. The Bible says in, uh, in Romans chapter 8, verse, verse uh, uh, 18, 19, 20, 18, 19, and 20, Romans 7, 18, 19, 20, it talks about, you, you can go home and read it, it talks about, come on, it talks about where is sin is rested. The sin is rested in our body. The nature of sin is rested in our body. <laughs> okay? The nature of sin is rested in our body. In other words, when I get triggered in something, it immediately the trigger goes into the searching mode of our soul. In other words, your soul gave shots, wounded the body with so much of, so much of memories. When it's triggering a memory, something of a sin, it immediately gets into lust, pride, lust, or greed. Okay? Here's my point. I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, help you understand. What it's doing is, what the body is doing is, it's venting the soul. 
vent ventilation <laughs> are you ready this is so good your body is ventilating the soul the soul is not ventilating your body is ventilating when you don't process something you'll process another thing your body is processing your soul not your spirit your body is meant to ventilate what is given to it as sub, uh, as something that is it, it says in in uh, seven words uh, chapter 7 verse 7 8 9 10 somewhere seven in these three verses it says it it's it's subjected it's subjected to ventilate something yield something <laughs> produce something our body is constantly producing what is subjected what is what is what it is subjected to all right the best best part of the body is come on this is where the this is where the matter of matter of fact comes in i love the subject because to make the will of god come on are you ready to make the will of god come into action is to have the soul not work for me the only way the your the only way to make your soul not work for you is because it's weak you cannot put jesus to weakness and expect jesus to walk why jesus does not work with unbelief jesus does not respond to a lie jesus does not respond to fear <laughs> jesus does not respond to sadness so what does he respond to what he responds to to sneaky way to get your body get the spirit into your body is to is to have your spirit is to have your spirit come in the subjection to what god created your body to be called ventilization you if you bring if i bring in the body to the spirit and let the let the let the soul come behind it which is nothing but having the body to say lord i'm going to pray i'm going to pray are you not, are you ready here's the secret i'm going to this is what shocked me today bible says he says in romans romans 8 he says pray with what pray with the ceasing but in the scriptures it says somewhere it says pray with understanding <laughs> pray with understanding if i'm praying with understanding of what it what it wants to understand is the will of god what is the word for understanding as 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 jesus said understanding is standing under a truth standing on the truth understanding on the truth understand the truth the more i understand the truth come on the weak soul gets healed through my understanding it's not ventilizing it's healing am i making sense in other words if i understand it's just beautiful the scripture that, that we talked about it's an understanding if if i understand and pray pray with understanding when i subject my body to understand because i have a brain God's given me a brain. God's given me neurology. God's given me something to think. If the more I think the truth, <laughs> my went my soul that is subjected to my past with pride, lust and grief cancels its cancels its triggers and gives permission to understanding so that so that soul would not give me give me any any counsel, anything that counsel any counsel to the to 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 the future my point in saying this and the best way to give jesus the place to bring understanding to bring to bring the holy spirit into it is make my understanding strong through prayer the more i pray with understanding come on the more i pray with understanding it's it, you can find it in first corinthians chapter 14 verse 15 there's so many scriptures that i can i can i can i can put into this those secret things that we get to say in matthew chapter 6 verse 
verse, verse, verse 4, verse 6, and verse, verse 20, I believe, there are secret things that Jesus said is to pray, fast, and give. <laughs> when you pray in the secret place with understanding, the more you understand what's happening with you, with Jesus, the more you understand, get, get into a secret place where you constantly work your understanding to say, this is what's happening, God, but what does your word have to say to give me freedom from the soul? The more you put your, your brain to work against your mind, which is your soul, which is your memory, your, come on, your body that is giving more understanding is healing your soul that is attached to your weakness. Come on. Come on. So the more you bring Jesus to this body, the Bible says the redemption, when the redemption happens to your body, come on, your spirit and your soul gets connected to bring the will of God. <laughs> he says, let we look forward for the body to redeem <laughs> so that the will of God happens in this earth. So my job as as the body of Christ is to make your physical body a place to rest the promises of God. Why? It's a temple of living God. Amen? If it's temple, I pray. <laughs> if it's not temple, I don't pray. Nana, what you value, you redeem. Jesus already purchased our body. But the way you redeem is to go to the body. I, I, I bought a pant yesterday. Yesterday, if you yesterday. I paid it. But I had to go get it. It was purchased. But I need to go to rock, rock something. The, yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. That's a beautiful pants. I don't know why they're colorful. I love the colorful pants. Rock revival. Anyways, uh, it was purchased, but it's not redeemed yet. <laughs> Did you hear that? Your redemption happens when you consistently pray. The more you pray, the more you're asking, telling God that he is important. Amen? If you're not praying, you're not saying, God, that you're important in this day. Prayer gives me the chance to have the will of God to become my deja vu. Amen? This, this sermon was excited in Pennsylvania than you guys. I'm just kidding. Uh, my point in saying all of this is, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, wants to join your physical body. Your physical body, if it's joined to pray with understanding, take this word, memorize this word, speak this word, what you don't know <laughs> becomes your deja vu. <laughs> if you pray the scripture every single day, if you anoint the scripture with understanding, what you don't know becomes your, your favor, your desire, your next promotion, your next connection. Come on. You don't need to know what, what will happen there because you, you're not in control. But if I do pray what I don't know with the word, deja vu happens. So what gets healed in your prayer, is your soul. I'm making sense to anybody. With understanding what makes your soul get detached to your body. <laughs> Amen? Can we ask the Lord to give us the deja vu every day? So that pride is Nothing but, are you ready? Offending soul, offending, offended mind. 
But when I'm subjected to the scriptures early in the morning, I am already deja vu to the fence. <laughs> Do you get that? I am already knew this offense is going to come and I was already there because Jesus was already there. I don't need to subject myself in the offense. Pride. <laughs> your, your hand should go up right now. In that way, you're not angered, but you're ready for a challenge. This is, this is how we do it in India. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're, you're ready for a challenge, not agreeing to the offense that makes you feel <laughs> robbed by something. Offense robs your joy. Amen? Are you, I, I'm making you think, but the peace of God gives you the joy to see the monster just as a practice. <laughs> Guys, I love this sermon so much so, I want, I, I, I want to dig in more on this, uh, on this, why because, number one, next to next week we'll talk about why comforter. Today, we're gonna, we, we, what we talked about is the will of God. What is in the spirit? What is in the spirit? What is in the spirit? What's in the spirit? The will of God. How do I subject the will of God into my body? Prayer. With what? Understanding. The more I understand, what is getting healed? Your soul. What is your soul? What is in your soul? Weak elements. Your weakness. Spirit in your body heals the weakness. Amen? If you get what I'm trying to say, guys, <laughs> you're making the enemy homeless today. I promise you, you're making the offense not get you anymore. You're making your lust, <laughs> which is lust is not seeing what you don't have. Lust is feeling, feeling inconsistent, feeling empty. Do you get that? Lust is feeling empty. It's not what you, what is that makes you feel. It makes you feel empty where belonging doesn't happen. But the spirit of God, which is in your body, in your spirit, the spirit which is in your body, gives you belonging because there's no lust. When there is no belonging, there is no, what did I just say? Something, I just something. I'll make a sense. Lust, belonging kills, lust kills belonging. Belonging kills lust. <laughs> Belonging kills rejection. Lust is nothing but rejection. Come on. I want to teach another sermon, but we don't have time now. Did that make any sense? What did you get today? What did you get today? What did you get today? A lot, I know. Yeah. What is the one thing that you just got now? I want, I want to hear that. What you got, Cody. I want you to get that, Nana. What did you get today? Come on, surrendering to what? Knowledge, Knowledge of who? Come on, understanding is standing under the truth, under the truth. What did you get? A lot. Yes, yes. Anybody else? What, what did you get? I'm going to ask yes. soul is always kind of like getting in the way. Right? Good job. So he says, Daddy, don't take me to this church again. Yeah. <laughs> what did you get? What did you get? Tell me one more. Yeah. Two more. I, have to, I can't have to go, but I actually watched, I, I got to tune in for like, like the last portion of the message last week. Yeah. And then I watched it during the week. Funny the best, actually. Um, but you did a visual that has walked with me all week. Mm. And if I interpret it, like, um, when you got your knees and you were telling them 
mm. that God uh, Gimlin, and, yeah. you know, waking up, standing up, and yeah. then, you know, they're talking to them, and yeah. you were in your minivan, and you get out of prayer. Yeah. What I got, which didn't say that, but it was a thing. Good job. Thing I Good. Say today yeah. Is the surrender. Yes. So I was surrounded yeah. by <laughs> Yeah. To God and our soul. Yeah. Yes, I didn't say this yesterday, last, last week. I didn't say, when your body subjects to your understanding, your soul gets healed. Now, your body is not the ventilizer. Your body becomes healed, adopted to the will of God. Because your, your, your soul comes behind your body and your body, your, your body and, your, and your spirit. One more, one more, one more, one more. What'd you get? Um, just the, uh, the chain reaction of how standing under that truth, praying, um, would ultimately be the thing that heals that weakness. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. I'm going to have him preach two, two weeks from now. Uh, this is fascinating, guys. Let's, today I, I want deja vu happen. Yes? I want deja vu happen. I'll say this and I'll close here. There are three demonic powers that allows me to be stuck in the soul. Three demonic powers are sorcery, witchcraft, and divination. Sorcery, witchcraft, and divination. There are three kinds of powers. Only three. Not, not anything. There's no less. There's no more. These three demonic powers is consistently stopping me to not to experience the deja vu of God. <laughs> three. What is the Bible talks about those three things that God hates? Pride, lust, greed. <laughs> Am I making sense? If you look at what is in the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is, what is that? Kingdom of God is not what? Eating and drinking, but what? Righteousness, joy, and what? S sound mind, righteousness, sound, sound mind, righteousness, peace, and joy, which is in where? Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit has the kingdom of God. <laughs> so if, I'm have the, if I have the Holy Spirit in my body, I have the kingdom of God. When kingdom of God lives, your soul has no choice. I have no choice to control you. Your sorcery, your <laughs> witchcraft, or divination can control you. I want to talk about divination. I mean, this is... This is Fascinating, which fascinating spiritual warfare. Maybe, maybe in a few weeks we'll talk about the spiritual warfare. The divination versus the deja vu of God. Who wants to have, who wants to know, who wants to have the experience of deja vu every single day? This declaration is not a request. If you want that, let's stand up. You're here because you experience the overflowing joy of God. Amen? And that overflow of joy wants to give you permission in the Spirit. I want to pray this deja vu happen to us every day. Can I? Let's close your eyes. Jesus, thank you so much for today. Thank you, Nana, for doing what you did today. Jesus, we thank you for canceling the pride, the lust, and the greed. That constantly make me feel <laughs> emptied, tired, and angered. Thank you for healing these three things today. We are not empty. We are not tired. We are not angered. Thank you for healing all of these three things that is weak vessel 
in our memories, in our emotions, in our beliefs. Jesus, we thank you, Nana, for giving us permission to experience your deja vu today. We want to ex- we we want to experience your deja vu, Jesus. Jesus, give us the heart, give us the passion for us to pray every single day. The time the the time that we open our eyes in the morning from our bed, that we would remember that part of promise that we remind ourselves to. that we would pray as soon as we wake up we would pray we would speak in tongues we would make you important the time before we sleep in the night we want to make you important important in our lives today daddy we dedicate our thoughts that we would not do anything in the day without you we bless your name nana thank you so much for healing our soul and bringing us into your deja vu your will love god thank you daddy we so look forward to see you what you have for us this week in jesus daddy's name anyone who's excited say amen, amen.